Hi, this is Thomas from 8 Game Tools. In this video we're going to look at portals, how to set them up and how to create custom actions for them. So the first thing we're going to look at um, is the different portals that we have. We have two different portals, shortcut portal and um, a connector portal. And we have them right here in our scene. Uh, as you can see we have a scene with two grids and we also have two portals set up. The first portal what we have selected here is a shortcut portal and the second portal is a connector portal. So let's see the differences between the two and then talk about the consequences that they each have. So first of all I'm going to select my unit and I'm going to move my unit up here. Now as you can see what it does is actually instead of moving towards the destination it actually moves it back a little bit in order to use the portal to get there. Obviously that's because that is the shortest path to take, the portal will take it closer to its, its target faster than it, if it just moved straight up there. So this is what a shortcut portal is. It will be evaluated as a potential shortcut uh, on the way to the destination. Now the second type is a connector. This is what is connecting these two grids back and forth here. Um, now, this may not be obvious what the difference is um, in this case, but let's just try and uh, make our shortcut portal into a connector portal instead. And then try this again. I'll select it and select the same destination. And as you can see now, it actually just moves there directly. It will not evaluate uh, this portal as a potential shortcut on any longer. And since it is not on the path towards the destination, it will not be evaluated. So that is the difference between the two. Now, the reason there are two is that shortcut portals are fairly expensive. The whole evaluating portals thing about when you evaluate them all the time as potential shortcuts has a cost. Um, so as a general rule, if you can, then use connector portals. If that is, is enough to suit your needs, then you should use connector portals. If you want this functionality where it actually does evaluate portals as a shortcut, then you should use shortcut portals. Portals between grids should always be connector portals. There are is actually there's no reason for them to be shortcuts. They will be used anyway. Okay? So use connector portals um, between grids for uh, the best efficiency. Okay, so that was the different portal types. Um, now there is an example video on portals where we have shown some of this, but I'm just going to very briefly go through um, the portal uh, component. Now we just touched on the, the, the type of it. Of course you can give it a name. Um, then you have the two portals, their position uh, and their size. Then you have colors for the, the the gizmos, not very important. And then you have this exclusive to property, which um, tells us if this portal is exclusive to some type of unit. So this is basically the attributes uh, functionality that is also available for portals. So you can set this only to be available to units that are on the orange team, for instance. Now, about the portals and their size, um, portals can actually span a lot of cells. So if you want portals, for instance, if you wanted to stitch these two grids together and you actually wanted to be able to move from one grid to the other all over uh, the side of each of the grids, then instead of making a, a, a gazillion different uh, portals to cover that area, you just need this one portal and you simply size um, the cells to match. So I could just basically size, or oh, it's probably easier for me to um, do this in the editor, but let's just see. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to size it up here. Oops. There we go. Okay, so now it, it actually, well, yeah, it covers a little bit more than it should, but now it covers the whole side of each of the grids. So now when I start my scene, uh, I can move across at any point on the grid, doesn't really matter, it will just connect the two grids together um, and it will just move straight across there. Ok, 
Okay, so you can size um, your portals any uh, size you want. Um, it's just a matter of how many cells they cover, and all those cells will then be con uh, considered connectors to the opposite uh, partner of that potential of of that um, portal. All right, um, so let's look at um, the actions. So that's the second part of portals. Uh, when you create a portal, you will also want to assign it an action. Now in our example here, we, as you saw, we have a jump action on this one. It has an action script called portal action jump that we will get back to in just a second. And then the second one here just had the basic teleport comp uh, teleport action that is bundled with Apex Path, or included in Apex Path rather. Um, now you can create all sorts of different actions that will suit your needs. So if you want something else like an elevator or whatever you can think of, then you can simply create the script um, to support that and the portal will use that um, action script when units enter portals. So let's uh, look at the scripting. So for this, uh, instead of uh, writing something from scratch, we're just going to use the ones already available in the examples project um, in Apex Path. So we're going to look at two um, different components. Um, the first one being this portal action jump component that we just saw in action in the scene. As you can see, uh, to implement a uh, portal action, you simply implement this interface called iPortal Action, which involves implementing two methods. One is the execute method, which actually executes the, the action, transporting the unit from one portal to the other, and the second one being the action cost. Now, the action cost is what is used by the uh, Pathfinder to evaluate whether or not this portal is actually a viable um, move or a viable cell to use, if it makes sense to use that on the way uh, to the destination or not. And of course the execute simply executes it and this just, I mean in this case it jumps, uh, there's no need in looking into the actual implementation of this, that's not really interesting. Uh, you can do whatever you want here. Um, the only important thing is to say about this is this once you're done, once you've completed whatever action you're doing uh, between the two cells, you call a callback to uh, tell um, a steer for path component that you are done so that it can regain control and continue moving the, the unit around. Okay, so that's what happens when, whenever a portal gets uh, activated. Basically, uh, the steering stops and the portal takes over, and once the portal is complete, the steering continues. Alright, so this is one way to implement um, portals implement the iPortal action interface. The second way to do it um, is to implement the iPortal action factory interface. Now this allows you to um, do conditional instantiation of portals. Um, in this case we've just done a very simple randomization portal. So this one uh, picks one of the uh, portals at random. Either it takes the portal action jump component or it takes the teleport action component. So the portal will act differently. But in here you could make your own conditional logic that the portals would act differently depending on whatever conditions um, you can think of. So that is the second way to do it. So when you add a portal, um, you will have different options to select um, these actions. As we can see here, uh, if I remove this action, you can see you will get the drop down of available actions. And when you create your own, these will also be in the list. So um, now, I mean, we could select this random one, which was the factory implementation. Now this one will simply um, select one of the two. So when I start it up here, it will select one. And in this case, it selected the teleport. Uh, at other times, it will select the jump. There we've got, got lucky, 50-50. Um, so this time it selected the jump component. Um, that will use that for that portal. Um, so that's basically it um, on portals. So you have the two different types. Use the connector portal whenever you can. 
um, but of course use the shortcut box when you need that functionality and then write your own uh, portal actions to achieve whatever different action you want.